Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's kind of dark in here. I don't know, This, I guess the light in here isn't that great. With all the snow and crap we've got outside, I don't know. Anyway, right, I'm here today for a book review. I have, if I can get it in here. This is Dead, Dead, sorry, I was about to say Dead Sexy. No, this is, this is Dead Perfect by Amanda Ashley. Now, most of you probably will Who's Amanda Ashley? I've never heard of her. She's an she's adult. She does vampire books, or I guess you could call them snuff books. I don't call them that. Va a vampire book is a vampire book to me. Okay, so I don't even give a damn. All right. The tagline for this is, "Be careful what you wish for." I could describe the book, but that would just be boring and lame. So what I'm gonna do is just read the back. <clears throat> Only a woman with nothing left. Not, eh, sorry, I'm tongue-tied today. Only a woman with nothing left to lose knocks on a vampire's door and asks for help. Savannah Davis is convinced that the mysterious dark-haired man she's followed for months can save her life if he doesn't kill her first. <laughs> but though Rowan insists he can't give her what she needs, his kiss unleashes a primal hunger that makes her feel truly alive for the first time. After centuries of existence, Rowan has done the unthinkable. He has fallen in love with a mortal, and one with only weeks to live. Sensing the fear and reluctance beneath Savannah's request, he offers her a different bargain that will keep her near him during the time she has left. Every hour spent together leaves him craving her touch, her scent, her life's essence. Soon, only Savannah can satisfy his thirst. But if he saves her from death, will she love him for it? Or spend eternity regretting what she has become? Uh, I really like this book. I've read it before, but this is just the first time I've gotten a chance to do a video, a video review over it. Um, she has a, um, a what she what she has is the reason why she done is she has a, uh, a blood disease that is killing her. Um, she, the doctors gave her six months. At the beginning of the book, it's been five months. She only has like a month left. Now, what um, what Rowan does, he gives he gives her some of his blood, and it extends her life for, well, a couple months. But throughout the book, um, it is revealed that his blood is, her body needs more and more of his blood more often. And so she, because the disease is getting quicker and quicker. Um, I really like this. I mean, sometimes, sometimes the book can be um, kind of slow sometimes. Um, so I really have to, I really like to just hurry up and get past those scenes because sometimes it can go on and on and on. But I like the, I like the romance scenes. But the one thing I, one thing I kind of find really strange and really, really weird is Savannah, Savannah, she doesn't find out that he's a vampire until like 200 pages into the book. This book is only like 300 and, hold on, let me find out, three, I want to be exact, yeah, 346 pages. Yeah, so she doesn't find out he's a vampire until like, 200 pages into the book, which is mm, kind of strange, but what 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 also what is what, what I liked, which is very uncommon, is um, because Rowan is he is Ava Black, which is this um, vampire romance author, quite famous, and so she. Because he's a man and he wants his readers to continue thinking he is a woman, he has Savannah pose as Ava Black for book signings, book and a whole long book tour and radio interviews and all those other things. Anyway, one of the, one of the other key points of this book would be um, Jim Hewitt, who is a vampire hunter who is trying to kill Rohan, which I find irritating because Rohan doesn't actually kill people. Sure, he drinks their blood, but doesn't actually kill them, and he's just hunting him just because of what he is, which I find incredibly retarded. But that's one thing I 
I find intriguing and annoying about Vampire Hunters. Anyway. Um, sometimes it catches me up doing these reviews because I always I always have these all these thoughts I want to say. And then when I actually start doing it, I'm like, what the hell, the, what the hell was I going to tell these people <laughs> again? I'm like, oh. <laughs> I, I like to be a little crazy every now and then and just speak my mind. Something I don't normally do. Um, I don't want to give away too many spoilers. Because, I mean, this is definitely a book. Um, I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. Main, of course... I, I'm one of those open-minded readers because I'm a, I'm writing a book myself, and you know, I I mean I, I I hate I hate being mean toward towards books. Of course, normally if I pick up a book, and I read it and I like it, it's gonna get five stars. I mean, I there's I haven't I don't I don't believe there's a single book I've ever given lower than four stars but um this is um dead perfect by amanda ashley such a good book the cover i just love that cover i don't know if you can see because the light in my room is terrible i don't know if you can but sorry it really is god awful but i'm gonna give a shout out to um jessica allen who is t girl medium um, she's my best friend, and she's got a channel that she she has all kinds of shit on there. I don't even know. I try to watch them, but she she does them faster than I could watch it. I'm like, I'm like, girl, stop it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, like, subscribe. Um, if you want to check out more of her books, you just go to amandaashley.com, and you can. Um, e email her at darkrider at aol dot com. Um, her newest book in her Children of the Night series, which is Night's Promise, comes out on February fourth of next year. I'm looking forward to it. I've already put aside the money, so I can't wait. All right. Well, I will see you guys next time. So, um, happy reading and um. Really, check out check out Amanda Ashley. She is an amazing, amazing author. And um, if you read her books, uh, I promise you, you will not be disappointed too much. <laughs> Depends on your expectations, I guess. But, alright. See you guys next time, and happy reading.